It seems like the Karen population has boomed since we hit 2023, infesting our streets, annoying more people than ever, but it's not all doom and gloom as more Karens equal more hilarious clips. And today's video is a Karen extravaganza. So let's get into it. <laughs> are, you, are you German? No, no, no. Don't hit him! Nice jersey. Come on, Nate. No, I'm not going to do I'm not do this. I'm not do this. I'm I can, I can handle my own. Free? She has 23. Free. What? What? what is it? Free, please, free, please stop this. Free, stop this or I'm, I'm never going to talk to you again. Stop this or I'm never going to talk to you again. Listen to me right now. Go we'll sit down right now. I'm never going to talk to you again. Listen to me right now. He's not doing anything. He's not doing anything. Listen to me right now. No, he's not. He's not. He's listening to me. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. Listen. He's not. He's not. He's not. He was not talking to me. Listen to me. Baby, stop it. Stop it. Listen to me. Listen to me right now. Listen to me right now, okay? I love you. I get it, but just don't do this. Please do not do this. 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 He didn't say anything. He did not say anything. He did not say anything. He did not say anything. He not say anything. He did not say anything. He's having a personal conversation with his He did not say anything. Please listen to me right now. Not only does this Karen talk down to a polite police officer, but clearly she thinks she's above the law, as she loses it over a pair of sunglasses and a parking fine. You are not going to have a happy Saturday because I am not happy. I'm sorry about that. I have... don't. I have always put that damn tag in my window all the time. I am 65 years old. I got home after taking dinner someplace last night to some people whose grandkid died and to my sons from Springville. And I got home around midnight, I think it was after. I forgot to put it in my window. And I am really mad. When I have a warning, I'm giving you guys a warning. I know this is your job, but you better know my car and you better know who I am because I'll make your life hell. I, I, I promise you that. I'm so furious about this. So if we can see it in the vehicle, generally we'll let it go. So I mean, but, well, uh, well I'm not going to say generally. I'm going to say, please make sure it's always let go. Well, in this can vehicle. you see that? Okay. So I mean, obviously I can see that. Okay. Um, they would have to check the video footage. I mean, you can always appeal it and they can check it to see if they saw it, but. No, it wasn't there last night because I'll tell you something. The way our car set up, it actually broke the top thing because it doesn't hook on. Yeah. It doesn't work. So we've been putting it here. Mm -hmm. Now it actually works better than it did. Mm -hmm. And I always have it showing, always. But last night I didn't. Mm -hmm. So you're going to threaten me with a thousand dollars and put a boot on my car. So that's a warning. Get your glasses on. So, well, Please. It's, it's bright out here, ma'am. So, I mean, the problem is. Okay. That warning there is to tell you if you tamper with the boot or try to damage the boot, then we're going to charge you with a class B misdemeanor and a thousand dollar fine as well as for the boot replacement and the boot fees. So that's just there to try and deter people from damaging our property. So, I mean, where that permit... We're in the shade, by the way. It's not bright right now. 
Okay, ma'am, whether I wear sunglasses outside or not, it's not a concern, okay? So for me to take this boot off, it is a $60 fee. And our guys will check through the windows if we can see it in the open where we can see it, like where he was showing it. That is something that generally we'll see that and be like, but all right, yeah, you're good. if they don't and if they miss it, then we're just out another $65. So, I mean, that's the risk you run if you don't have it somewhere that's very visible. So, but if we can see it, we'll leave the vehicle alone. I wish alone. I could see your eyes, because that's kind of chicken to talk to me and not take your glasses off. I mean, I don't, know why my, I don't know why my glasses are a problem for you, ma'am. <laughs> okay, well, let's let go of that. Let's, go, let's get this taken care of. This is bullshit. Okay. Excuse me. Take it off. So, after the fee's been paid, I'll take the boot off. This Karen goes from a classic tantrum to an all-out assault just because she wasn't being served fast enough. Okay. 
Here come them boys. Yeah, here come them boys. Now you in trouble. the moments that led up to this crazy Karen's arrest. She was also seen earlier that day throwing dog droppings at her neighbor's house. Maybe jail is the safest space for her. Mary Ellen's pre-arrest. This gentleman anywhere near me, and I want him to shut his mouth. I can't help what he says. Every time I walk out the door, can you, can you answer the question? Do you want him back on your property? Or yeah, absolutely. So you yeah. want him trespassed from your property? You don't want him in your driveway, on your porch, in your backyard, no. any of it. And I don't want him throwing food against the fence. We're, it attracts rats. Okay. okay. And it attracts okay. vermin. Right. Well, so you, do you understand that you are, according to her, you are trespassed from her property. You're not supposed to be in your driveway. You're not supposed to be He's on abusing her me. He's physically Will abusing me. Will you stop me. talking and let him, ma'am, Miss Mary, no. stay Do you understand? No. I do understand. All right. Miss Mary, yes, listen to, if you would explain to this lady what you that that you want her trespass from your property, please. Yeah, I would like you trespass from my property. I would like I you to stop listen. He, 
he respected you, you're going to respect oh, he him. he did not respect me. Will you me. stop talking and listen to him? Stop talking oh, and listening. don't talk to You me just like talk that. to me about maturity. Right now, he's being more mature than you are. So listen to him. I don't want you on any of my property, touching my property, on any of my property line and from I now don't on out. You and your property line does not go. I don't to want the you on my fence. porch, knocking on my porch, knocking on my door, on listen, shining listen. lights in my door, listen, throwing things in my yard. You're listen, at me. listen. He's not done. He's not done. Listen to him, man. Oh, if I don't interact from you from here on out, that would be perfect. Leave me alone then. That's, don't open your mouth when I, I come out my front door. Don't open your mouth at likewise me. Likewise for you. All right. You understand you're trespassing from his property? I don't start it. He starts it. Okay. You understand you're trespassed from his property, correct? No. You don't understand yes, you do. that? No. You no. don't understand if you set foot, now that he's told you to stay off his property, that you're not allowed on that property. Well, I told him to stay off my okay, property. Okay, it goes both I, ways. I, I'm asking you first, and I'm going to ask him the same question. You understand you're not supposed to be on his property, correct? Yes. Sir, do you understand that you're not supposed to be on her property? I understand. He Wonderful. Understand. Keep that video. You don't understand you are Thank not allowed you. on yep. Good night. I don't give a What else you got? If you were my age, how old are you? Man, you run your mouth a lot. You run your mouth a whole lot. <laughs> are you are you a little triggered? You a little triggered, big fella? That's good. Is this your company? No, it's not. Oh, that's good. This employee turns Taco Bell into Taco Hell as she abuses and assaults a customer. No, bro. He talking to myself. We fuck up his okay. So, of course, if the order got messed up, don't come in here with no attitude. Okay, okay, okay. Let me go. No. When I offer to give him his money back, if you want the bitch, I don't give a fuck. Don't feel you. It's going on everything. I don't give a fuck. Just so you know. And I don't get hashtag, wait, hashtag Mount Pleasant Taco Bell. Follow me. My name is Ashley Renee Ford. Make sure you tag Ashley me go. when you post Ashley it. Go. Tag me when you post it. Go. Tag me when you post it. Tag me when you post it. You're a devil. Get away from me. Oh, get away from me. He didn't put his hands on me. <laughs> You're a devil. Get away from me. I'm waiting for somebody for a tenant. Well, I've given instructions to the management company mm -hmm. that I don't want okay. anything changed on my air conditioner or my heater. I'm not here for your apartment. Good. I'm in apartment 221. Okay. It's on the first floor above the ground floor, even though it says 221. Okay. And I've made that very clear to police and to other authorities. Okay. Have a good day. Stop stalking USA English speaking people. USA? Yes, United States of America. Okay. I was born and raised here too. I'm not stalking you, sir. I'm You're not... stalking me. I, like I said, I'm waiting for a tenant. I don't believe you. Yo, <laughs> my first 2023 carrot, bro. <laughs> I'm waiting for a ton of shit. She, you know, she on the phone calling a cop to me. Here's something you don't see every day. A Karen lawyer who clearly thinks a few documents saying that she has a shred of authority gives her the right to talk to people like this. Never mind police officers. Yeah, the key's stuck. Okay. It's difficult. Are you gonna, well, so do you think he's gonna be taken to the scene or, or will he just? Uh, are you? I'm not, no, no, I'm on the phone with this. Dad, it's my dad. 
about how many, how many cars are involved right now? Not mine. That's mine. All right, let's, let's, we need to get that off the road. All right, can we get that into the parking lot? He's, yeah. He's, we'll, we'll take we care of him, man. Nice. Okay. I'm, I'm just trying to tell his father. So he, okay, well, well we're him. in the middle of the highway. Right? Okay. So you All right, can you, can you move your car, please? Sure. Thank you. My man, is your car drivable? Yes. All right, we're going to get it off to the side I of the road, all right? All I'm saying is I can leave. I just want to tell his father. You don't have to leave. Just no, move I your car. I just want you to tell me. Is Are you okay? Yeah, I'm right, okay. Let's have a seat right over here. Is that your mom? No. No? I'm working. Can you please go sit in your car? You have nothing to do his with this father, scene. I is understand. A minor. I'm an attorney. He's a, he's a minor. I'm. You need to tell me. Is he going to be here? I don't need to tell you anything. You, I'm going to arrest you in a second if you don't get in your car. Oh, do you you're understand me? I'm not kidding you. You are kidding. You are impeding an investigation right now, and you're really bothering me. Which go I sit in your father? car. What I will talk I to him in a father? minute. Get in your car now. Tell, tell. This racist Karen arrives at a hotel, hoping the receptionist would forget that she aimed a racial slur at him when she called earlier. Well, her luck's out. He remembers all right. I understand that, but you called me a uh, f***er. You said your mother died. I understand that, but you called me a f***er. No, I'm sorry. You weren't sorry when you said it on the phone. I was, listen, there was no, people screaming at home. No, but at the end of the day, I need a, I need and the, the climate break. that we live in today's society, I, said I, was sorry. I understand that, but... Uh, it's, it's above me now. Can I need a room tonight. Well, there's the best restaurant next door. No, please, let me hear. My daughter's here. I'm sorry, but, I mean, I was on the phone when you said it. I said, I'm sorry. Please, I've been in a... I've had a horrible day And I today. had a horrible time when hearing that. He won't let me in. It's, it's above me. She called me a... F Sir, my grandma just I died. I understand that, but it's above me. Let me... Please let me. It's above me. Sorry. I got my the best card. restaurant is next door. Sir, the rest of our family. I understand is here. that, but it's above me. Please. I apologize. She said what she sir. said. I'm I understand that. I understand. She's very Kevin has a meltdown of epic proportions, all because his food was cold. Take a look. I need to act. Don't tell me relax. Give me because I wanna eat. Why are you telling me don't take it easy? In the first place, you're supposed to serve me right. What do you want me to do? Don't yeah? Don't talk for my right? This is America, buddy. We talk for all right. You sell me cold food for hot food? Get out. You didn't, what happened here? You didn't give me napkins before. Oh, give me that. Why are you making it much more? Shut up! What's going on? You gonna hurt me? Let's go. I'll bring my wife to you. You're gonna have to hurt my wife. Let's go. Calm yourself down, Papa. I try to be nice with you. No, I'm not. Get out here. What? Get out here. <laughs> Open the door for me. Thank you. Also, thank you. This Kevin tries to school this employee on their own mask mandate. How does he get on? Let's find out. By the way, just to let you know, customers, employees, and no, no. are still required. Sorry, corporate dropped the mask mandate as well as the city. No, they did. You're in the wrong. No, they did. Yes, they did. Why you think everyone else I don't want to come I came back you? and talked to your manager last night. Why you think night? everyone else don't want to come around you? Because you need I'm a mask vaccinated. Mask. No one cares. I. I don't care if you no don't care. care. The mask you're mandate is done. But this you cannot, cannot be vaccinated. You're going to get yourself no. fired. I'm sorry, but no, like this is the, I'm not letting I'm not letting not this go. Vaccinated. Your treatment for us is absolutely vaccinated. horrible. And your treatment for like you us know, is horrible. Right like you know. Kevin seems to be in some sort of rush, but won't wait around for his meal. What are these servers gonna do about it? I choose to do the kiosk. Even ask them what they want to do. Okay, it's called customer service. It's called customer service. I'm doing the best I can. Well, then get somebody up here in the well. You need to stop this, brother. Don't you worry about it. Just do your job. I'm doing my job pretty well, brother. Well, I'm happy for you. Do it better. No, I'm good. You can leave. You don't have to be served. Oh, no, I'm fine. I came here to eat. I didn't came here to wait. It's all good. I can work with anybody out here. Well, I guess you could if you want the back, if you want the backlash. No server ever expects to deal with a Karen when they walk into work, especially not this type.
This crazy Karen becomes obsessed with her fellow customers, and watch how she won't leave them alone. Move away. You need to move away. You need to move away. What am I doing to you? Move away. Yeah, you move away. You ask me Jesus Christ to move away too. Listen, I don't care. You, you need to move away. You, you need to you move away. With your life, you need to move away. What do you think you know? Get away from me because if you come close to me, I have to go. Move away. You got equal knowledge. Go down this way. You need to move away. Kevin's never admit that they're wrong, especially when it comes to mask mandates. Seek help. Because you're not, you're so young, you don't know what Nazism. It's our store policy. And no, it's no, it's company. not. It's Nazism, and you're so young, you don't know what Nazism is, because you weren't even born when they, when Hitler took over, and they used the exact same tactics. Don't get it. You don't get it. You don't get it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to ask. You, you don't leave. get it. Okay. So I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. We will not be able to help you today. We're gonna have to no, no, it's not that you won't be able to. You no, refuse you to because you're idiots. Well, no, because you won't put a no, mask on. No, because you're an idiot. Okay, all right, here. I have a mask. What I'll do, I will, I will comply to the requirement. Putting a mask, put on a mask, and here's the mask. Here's the mask, and here's the mask. Here, I have it on. It's on. You've asked me to put it on. Yeah, can you I have put it, on? it over? No, no, because then it doesn't. That defeats the no, whole purpose. Of no, 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 no. I don't give a crap. I don't give a crap because this whole thing is a god lie, and you're too stupid to understand it. You're okay. too stupid to understand it. All right. Well, you're too stupid to understand it. Well, I'm gonna have to yeah, ask you. And if you're leave. recording this whole thing, go ahead and record it. When this Karen is confronted for treating the restaurant staff awfully, watch how defensive she becomes. This Kevin is a special type of asshole whose mission in life just seems to be to make this drive through staff go crazy. Okay. And this this food is hot. This food is hot with my dipping sauce. Oh, you had to make it fresh, okay? Here's the food that's ice cold, which is two chicken McNuggets cold with no dipping sauce, no napkins, no receipt, and no quarter pounder with cheese. Here you go. All right, here's, here's the food that's wrong, that's ice cold. Here's the food that is wrong. No, sir. This is when I first came through the drive-thru. Can I talk to the manager, please? Thank you. No, sir. That's in my truck. 
this is the wrong order. I don't want that. That is that's ice cold. It, it's up to you what you do with it. Okay. Uh, no, let me have my change. Okay. Can I? Okay. Can I talk to you a moment? Huh? Are you the manager? Yes, I am. Okay, can I talk to you a moment? About what? Well, I went through the drive through and told you that my order was wrong. Yes, you did, and I have the made it fresh. Okay, and I was missing the quarter pounder with cheese and no dipping sauce and no receipt. And you said if you didn't like it, I could go somewhere else. Is, is that the policy of McDonald's? Yes, it is. It is? But your excuse was, we have somebody doing the kitchen. That's no excuse. and is that it, it? That's no excuse to hand you food. I I understand that. Okay. Do you but want money back or not, sir? I'm not, I'm not gonna do this but I didn't say I wanted my money back. Okay. This is about the worst customer service that there is. Hi there. Can I get your name, please? Angel. It's Angel. Here you go. What, what is this? It's your refund. I, I can't sit here and argue with you. I have a line in here. Argue with me? Yes, yes sir. You're, you are arguing you're with me? You're arguing with me. Like, you're no, I'm having a conversation. Sir, so I need you to get out of my line or I will call the police. Simple. Do you understand that you're being video recorded? I don't care. Obviously. I don't and that's what you're going to... Kevin wants a refund, but doesn't understand that he can't get one because he's touched the food. Here you go, ma'am. I'm so sorry, that, but here's the number for the corpus. No, no, no. We want our money back, sir. You I'm can give us... You, you can give us... I can't give you the money back. You can't give me my money no, back. You can call I haven't touched the food. I was you here just for... All you want. Doesn't matter. It's not gonna make a I'm going to send it to corporate so that fine, they can see that fine, you couldn't refund fine. me my money. I can't. You're telling my me you can't. I'm not allow that. So you call tomorrow morning and you can give back your money. They can't give me a refund. We can't take back the food because of COVID. Fine, that's Are you fine. That, that that's COVID. That's fine. So you, I won't hand you the You're food. Ridiculous. It's fine. I but we just want our money you back. Have have the cops have you escorted. This is private property, sir. You messed up our order. You're gonna make us pay for food that you messed up.